the 53 meters personal wealth amassed from Diana's trust fund and an allowance from his father Charles' estate dwarfs that of his fiancée's $5.3 meters. With an estimated joint fortune of around £40 million, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are sure to pull out all the stops when they will tie the knot in a ceremony next spring. Harry was once considered one of the world's most eligible bachelors, charming and fun, with a fortune of nearly £40 million to boot. But the royal has now been snapped up by the equally desirable American actress Ms. Markle, who boasts her own personal wealth of some £4 million. While Harry's fortune dwarfs that of the 36-year-old actress, it remains unclear whether they or the British taxpayer will foot the bill for the nuptials. Prince Harry earned his own salary as an officer and captain in the Army Air Corps until his departure from the service. Harry's official travel is funded through the sovereign grant, paid out of taxpayers' money, while the Prince of Wales uses his Duchy of Cornwall income, the landed estate created in the 14th century, for heirs to the throne in part to support Harry and soon Ms. Markle too. The duchy has assets worth more than £1 billion and provides Prince Charles with an income of more than £20 million a year. From 2016 to 2017, the Duchy of Cornwall paid around £3.6 million funding the activities of Prince Harry, Prince William and Kate Middleton, as well as other expenditures. Prince Charles may pick up most of the bill for his youngest son's wedding and reception, even if custom dictates otherwise. For the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's wedding, the costs including the church service, music, flowers, decorations, reception and honeymoon were split between the Queen, the Prince of Wales and Kate Middleton's millionaire parents. But the taxpayer picked up the bill for security at the event, including the 5,000 police officers and the clear-up operation on the streets afterwards, with reports suggesting the total cost to the taxpayer came to between £10 million and £20 million. Ms. Markle, meanwhile, is worth around £4 million from film and TV work. She is predominantly known for her role as Rachel and in Suits, a role she has played for five years since 2011. She also starred in films including Horrible Bosses and Remember Me. Harry and Meghan Markle will set up home in the Prince's current apartment, Nottingham Cottage, at Kensington Palace. But they might find themselves the new owners of a country residence. After the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge married, the Queen gifted them in Moor Hall, a ten-bedroom grade listed mansion on the Sandringham estate, providing them with a bold hole in Norfolk. Harewood Park near Oson Wye, which was renovated after being acquired by the Prince of Wales Duchy of Cornwall in 2000, could be contender for Harry and Ms. Markle. The Metropolitan Police will start planning immediately for the high-profile event. The current threat level for international terrorism in the UK is severe. Extra officers will be drafted in to patrol the streets on the day amid tight security surrounding the chosen venue. Ms Markle will also have been assigned a royal bodyguard from the Metropolitan Police's Royalty and Specialist Protection Command. The last time the country witnessed a senior royal marry was when future King Prince William wed his former university flatmate Kate Middleton. Their nuptials, which took place on April 29, 2011 in Westminster Abbey, were a grand affair featuring two dresses, two receptions, a carriage procession, fly busts, and a balcony appearance. Nearly 25 million people in the UK tuned in to watch the live televised wedding ceremony, with the worldwide television audience estimated to be 2 billion. The 1981 wedding between Prince Charles and Diana Spencer was estimated to have cost pound 4 metres, which equates to around pound 12 metres today.